Now Eyewitness News is working the latest on a story we first reported first on 12. Tonight, there is more trouble at the Providence Community Action Program. We were the first to report on claims of staggering mismanagement at the taxpayer-funded Human Service Agency. Now we've learned ProCAP's Executive Director, Frank Corbishley, has been suspended after his staff was reportedly caught shredding documents. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik went digging for more, and she joins us now live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom with what she's learned. Well, yes, Mike, Frank Corbisley has been suspended. And tonight at the Providence birthday celebration, we did talk to several city officials, including the mayor, to find out what they have to say about all of this. The documents were allegedly shredded earlier Tuesday at the ProCap building. And now the taxpayer-funded Providence Community Action Program has suspended Executive Director Frank Corbishley. Basically, I got a phone call today from uh, someone inside ProCap that said uh, uh, documents were being shredded. So I went up there, I called the uh, commissioner, Commissioner Parry, and I called an attorney, and we went up there and uh, we had the police confiscate the shredded uh, papers, and uh, we had the uh, director uh, suspended. ProCap Chair Michael Solomon tells us Corbishley's fate will now be decided Wednesday. Right now, I'm not sure what to make of it. We'll just let this thing sort out, and tomorrow we'll take a vote on the, uh, on the direction of the uh, director. And it was last week that Mayor Angel Tavares asked Corbishley to resign after an audit in progress showed what he calls, quote, staggering mismanagement of the agency. Tavares also fired three members of the board, including a city councilor, after they refused to fire Corbishley. Tuesday night, we asked Tavares about that suspension and the paper shredding. The developments of today are extremely troubling and uh, we were uh, very concerned uh, but we have the proper authorities involved and we'll continue to uh, do what we think is right and more impo most importantly we will bring everything to the light of day. And after repeated attempts tonight to talk to Congressman David Cicilline at that birthday party, he was never made available to us. We can tell you that Corbishley did run the troubled agency through Cicilline's two terms as mayor. Reporting live tonight with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Katherine Slotnick, Eyewitness News.